Well, good morning, folks. Looks like we're got some more snow to take care of. Got out the old Cub Cadet. And things are going pretty good there. For a few minutes, anyway. One thing for sure, that thing is a little bit noisy, isn't it? But she is cutting through that snow pretty good. It's pretty chilly out there. There's my first cut. It is a little bit heavy, but all in all, the Cub Cadet three-stage does a pretty good job. I can't really complain too much about it. Kind of hoping this would be our last snowfall for the year, but I doubt that will happen. A lot of times we even get snow in April. Sugar will be starting here pretty soon. I'd like to get out to visit some of them sugar houses. And I'll be sure to bring my camera along and share it with you. That thing has about four or five different speeds, but I always go in the slow speed because I try to use it in the higher speed. I can't keep up with it. it Once you take off by itself. Now somewhere that auger is hitting something and I'm gonna have my son look at it, find out where it's clicking and see if we can bend it back so it doesn't bother anymore. Been through a few shear pins this winter. Hit some solid stuff. They're not too bad to change, but they they are when you're in your 70s. It takes a little bit of effort. I had to turn my chute so it doesn't go back onto the other snow. There, right there is where my cable broke. It runs the augers. Hmm, what do I do now? I'm probably swearing in my mind right there. Probably can't hear me. The only thing I can do is take it back to its nest and put it to rest. That didn't work. Hmm. Kick it a few times. See if that helps. No, nope. that didn't do it. I 
Well, the gears at least work okay. Like I say, when she works, I really like it. But when it's broke, not much fun. There she is, the evergreen. Battery operated. And she works surprisingly quite well. I'm really glad I had it for a backup. And here we go. Seems to be throwing it pretty good. We're talking about Oh, probably eight inches of snow there, maybe more. Now, a battery on that usually lasts me about a half an hour, maybe a little bit longer. I got the Evergreen uh, lawnmower too, so I got two batteries, and uh, so. If it's real heavy snow and I use up the entire battery, I will bring out my other one and put the other one on the charger. And that seems to get me through it all. They're fairly light, so it's not bad to push around. And it definitely saves on the gas, doesn't it? This one doesn't have the heated handlebars like the, the other one does, but... That's okay. My fingers weren't that cold anyway. I definitely need the exercise, that's for sure. That's why I do it. Oop. It was a little hump right there where it thawed out and then refroze, but. Now I've had this, uh, I don't know, two, three years, and uh, it's always held up pretty good. I would recommend them, uh, particularly if you've got a small yard. It's, uh, look at that throw of that snow. Goodness gracious. Of course, you have to be careful that any of them will pick up stones and they'll throw them towards your house. And if you got a window you don't want broke, you better take and turn that cover down a little bit so it doesn't hit the house. Oh, that's a big batch right there, isn't it? But it's going through it. It's all the snow that was on top of my car. Went right through it. I don't run my car much in the winter, but just to go out and get some photographs, I like to do photography pretty well. There she goes. Now I switch to the other camera. I got a bigger camera that's sitting there so you don't hear it, but it's higher up on the house. Give you just a little bit different view there for a minute. I look smaller in that picture, don't I? <laughs> You 
can tell it's cold just by the way that snow is acting in the air, can't you? It doesn't take long to cut down through it. Now I switch back to the other camera. <clears throat> These are probably not synced very well, but to get the idea. Here them birds are yapping out there this morning. I feed them during the winter, but in the spring and stuff we have to take it in because the bears like come up and eat it stuff and they like to raise heck with your porch had three of them on my porch one day i left them alone because i didn't want to get the mother ugly because she had her cubs with her yeah that really is a lot of snow for her something so small and light. There's a guy with a snow plow and he just drove right by. Here's where I decided to take a short break pull my pants up because keep falling off. Setting on an ice bucket on the porch. Catch my breath for <laughs> a little while. Back at it. Let's switch cameras again. It's a higher camera. And that's where I go take my break. I don't set too long, just a couple minutes. Then I got my energy back, I'll go back at it. Sky is kind of pretty out there, though, isn't it? It's got a little bit of pinkness to it. I don't mind the winter. I've been here for, I don't know, 73 years. Don't mind it at all. I like spring pretty well, too. I'm kind of anxious where it's coming around. Got some pretty birches out front there. Kind of like those. <coughs> that cold air gets in my lungs, makes me cough a little bit. Okay, I'm starting to get up, get moving again. See, I told you it wouldn't be long. Back I go. So it only takes me 25 minutes or so to do the entire driveway, so it's not really too bad. Plus I got a path out to the shed out back. <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely a lot quieter with that electric one though, aren't they? Birds are louder than that machine. I 
think they don't like it because they're bird feeders right there on the porch and they probably want their food so they're telling me to hurry it up so they can eat. I almost think that throws it just as far as the electric or, what the, or the gas one does, doesn't it? bought that one on Amazon I think there was they're over four hundred dollars I think switch back to my other camera for a second almost hits the camera throws it up so high no sound on my outside camera I have it, but I turn it off because I don't like listening to the background noise. Just about done. Whew. How would you like to get that down your back? Just about it. Get a little bit behind my car. I think that's almost hit my iPhone. It's out there. Well, I want to thank you all for joining me in this. And kind of like, enjoy sharing my activities with everybody. You all have a great day now. <laughs>